Oh, my lips are super red on camera. Look at that. What's up, Fabs and Besties? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella. This week, we are going to do a Q&A. Then, for while we're answering questions and talking to all of you, we are going to make some easy phone stands, or make a easy phone stand. This one looks like an easel. Uh, where are our comments, man? Mm -hmm. There we go. What's up? How you doing? Hey, Kira. What's up, Madison Davis? Hello, Joanna Baker. What's up, Jaden Loves Music and Joseph? How you doing? Okay, so we're going to make a phone stand that looks like an easel. You can totally use this in the dollhouse or you can use it for like uh, propping up your phone. That's what phone stands are for. So I should have pinned this hair down. Sorry. Got out of character for a second there. All right. So <laughs> you use body pins. You don't have to listen I, I was running late. You see all the gray hair? Yeah, we're wearing lipstick today, y'all, because we're getting fancy. I'm not. I yeah. <laughs> barely got lips, lip gloss on. But look, it makes my teeth so white. It looks like, wow. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're naturally white. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Hello, uh, Naressa. How you doing, Cassandra? What's up, Amaya? Hello, yay. Uh, hello, Bailey. I saw that. Okay, so for this project today, I'm sorry, the reason behind this is everyone's going back to school, right? Or not everyone, but a lot of people are going back to school, and a lot of people are going back to work. So, and at work and at school, Everything's kind of like virtual these days, so you might need something to help pop up your phone. And we're going to make a little phone stands to make it easy to communicate with the ones you love or with teachers. So, not that you don't love your teacher. Maybe you do. Eh. Okay, so what we need is craft sticks. Did you just move my stuff? Okay, so we're using like regular craft sticks. These are popsicle sticks, craft sticks, and I need one jumbo craft stick. What you're gonna do to make this project is you gotta make all the little legs, but they are doubled up craft sticks or popsicle sticks. Each leg requires four craft sticks. You like the lipstick, Cassandra? Thank you. Hopefully I don't get it all over my teeth because I'm known for that. Or I'll eat it you all. Eat it all. I eat There's it all. It's not even a question. <laughs> And she will eat it off. It won't make it through the whole life. We were life. somewhere, and you were like, you know, I'm going to wear, like, lip gloss. We were in New York when we, at, when we bought the Fenty lip gloss, and you literally ate it I off did. Of your lips. I like, did. That's why I have to make sure it's vegan and all natural, because I eat my lip gloss. I, when I was on Craftopia, that was, like, the thing about me. I had red lipstick on, and then 15 minutes later, I did I I don't understand how you do that because I lick my lips, not really, but sometimes, and I don't, that never happens to me. Well, never. I wish I was as awesome as you, but alas, I am not. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, we're going to get started with this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your craft stick and then you're going to cut off the top and the bottom because I like flat edges. I don't know why they never make popsicle sticks with flat edges for crafting purposes. I'm just saying it would make things easier for us. What's up to Hannah KC? So I'm using floral wire cutters um, and this is my favorite tool to use for cutting popsicle sticks. When they get wider, I don't use my floral wire cutters. When they get really wide, like beyond this, I only use scissors, like a really good pair of scissors. Okay, but just cut it off. It goes flying across the room. They look like toenails all over the floor. You'll thank me later when you're brushing and, I mean, sweeping the floor. So, yeah. Uh, make more printables? I would love to. Just gotta give me some time to get it done. All right, so I'm gonna cut the bottom and the top. What kind of printables are you interested in? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, that was really, really crooked because I'm like talking and not paying attention. But you're gonna cut the ends off of four times three is 12. 12 popsicle sticks, cut the ends off. Once you've done that, because I totally cheated and I did it ahead of time. Once you do that, you've got all these lovely little popsicle sticks and you're gonna take four, okay? You're gonna need to take two and you're gonna put them like this. Then you're gonna take the one, other one, the third one, and you're gonna glue it right behind the two of those 
to bridge the gap or to support the space or to support it or to connect them, whatever adjective you like to use. All right, while I'm doing that, you can t <laughs> what you never did that because, like, cause sometimes if you blow air in your cheeks so much that you like start to hear stuff in your ears, I you never have to see you. Don't like, have ears get cloudy. these problems. I'm using a hot glue gun, my hot glue gun is insanely disgusting from crafting. So, if your hot glue gun is pretty, you're not crafting enough. <laughs> Answer some questions. Um, Someone said they ate way too good chapstick. See, it's not just me. It's not a good thing, though. It's not, that's not a flex. It's not just me. You have good tasting chapstick? Because hopefully it's it not. Good. No <laughs> chapstick even tastes good. I'm a grip flavor. It tastes like artificial. It really does. And I waited too long and my glue did not hold anything together. So let's try this again. Next question. Can you do H2O just add water? Man, how old is that show? That show is a minute. Well, didn't they reboot it? Well, Mako Mermaids was Mako the Mermaids was Bro. The Mako Mermaids was my jam. That was everything. And then what? Was it H2O or Mako Mermaids? I had the one girl that sent originals. Um, H2O had the girls. Both of them went over to yeah, uh, yeah. originals, the spinoff from Vampire Diaries. Do I watch Vampire Diaries? Yes. Damon on Summer and Callie. Totally not inspired by <laughs> Vampire Diaries. <laughs> uh, do you still ride horses, Bella? Yeah, I do. I don't compete. Like, I'm not competing this year because of obvious reasons. Yeah. But, um, I do ride. And, um, we, we go out to the barn. We still have Johnny. We go out to the barn quite often. We haven't been this week. No. I feel so bad. Every time we plan to go. So at our barn, right now, there's, like, time slots. And everyone has their time slot. And every time we have our time slot, the clouds open and pour down beautiful rain every single time. So all we can do is go out and uh, brush the horse. It says, why do y'all have glasses? Because I can't see. <laughs> Corrective blind. Corrective vision. My eyesight's not as bad, but I cannot, I have to have glasses to drive. And I have to have glasses to see things like like maybe 20 feet away to like be able to read and stuff like that all right i literally can't see so once you glue this one onto the back and it actually holds take the other popsicle stick or craft stick and you're going to put it at the top you're going to glue that on and magically they will stick together with my hot glue i love crafting Sometimes I don't feel like it, but it's like I have to because I have a project that needs to get done. So you kind of muscle through it. But I love crafting until I have to. So what's up with Johnny at least works? No, Johnny, we bought him. He's yes. ours. There's a whole video series called Fab Some Horses. I did least think horse walk you through it. What horse did I lose? I lose a horse named Lucy. Lu yeah, Lucy. Okay, so you glue it on and then we're going to cut off the excess. Back in the day when I was good at writing. Take the leftover popsicle stick and glue it to the bottom so we have one gigantic double popsicle stick. Okay, it says, are you going to do a custom Amica E doll? I haven't got around to it. And then they canceled the show. And so it's like... And they canceled it and it's not even over. It's not over. No. And then they canceled it and so now I'm just like, I don't want to think about Amica To be honest, it's canceled. Like, I don't even... Makes me mad. Nope. Umbrella Academy is my jam now. Yes, sir. Can you make a washer? We have a washer video, and we have a, a laundry room video where we use washers that really work. They're used for cleaning brushes. But the other day, I was totally thinking we need a printable washing machine for a very easy washing machine. I don't need everything to always open. That's just me. I like things to look nice and clean and neat and be fast, and so printables do that. And I was thinking about putting some washing machine printables together so we can just do this really, really quick. What's your next video about? The very next video we will be making, or that we've already made, is Summer and Callie. Oh! Yeah, Summer and Callie tomorrow at noon will premiere new episode, episode 15. And um, yeah, I'm sorry it took me so long. For the first time in forever, there'll be music. 
Hmm? No, contrary. <laughs> for the first time forever, there'll be a summer in Cali. It's not the first time, man. We're at episode 15. Your music lyric didn't hmm? work here. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> so once you make one, get busy making two more because you need a total of three. Uh, what's your favorite Monster High movie? Okay, that's a funny question. I love the computer animation ones, but I loved the cartoons that were on YouTube it's not, most of it's all. It's not a movie, though. I know, it's not a movie, but those are my favorite. I used to really, really love watching the series on YouTube. I'm going to hurt you if you don't stop. <laughs> not really! Love her! But seriously. Okay. <laughs> uh, so what's your favorite anime movie? Favorite anime movie? I don't really watch anime movies. I did start Silent Voice, which is really, really sad, but like, it was sad, but like, it wasn't like Marvel sad. I didn't cry. Marvel sad. I love that. It That's wasn't Umbrella Academy sad, bro. <laughs> hey, don't give Run things to me. Don't give things away. I just, I haven't started Umbrella Academy. I was going to. You've seen season two already, though. I know. Because I'm always so, in the wrong room. You cannot, room. like, that. Like, you know how some shows have arcs over one season? Yeah. Like, Umbrella kind of isn't like that. It's like two seasons. Both seasons is one arc. I know, but I have to go back and understand why things happen. So I have to go yeah. back and watch Umbrella Academy. I just started Micro Academia for, like, the umpteenth time of actually sitting through it. I'm so. not even going to lie. I skipped all of season one of, of, of uh, My Hero Academia. Were you talking about that? Yes. Yeah. My Hair Academia, I skipped all of season one, and then I went to season two, recap of season one, because there's only like one fight scene in the entire season one. So, um... Are you going to ruin it? I said I just restarted it. It's not ruining anything, okay? And then I watched all of season two. I watched season two like twice, and then I didn't watch season three, and then I watched season four. But I haven't finished season four, so I don't have all over the place, but I know the characters names. I've seen the first episode four times. Because <laughs> that's how many the times first episode I is restarted. so boring. It's not boring. You got All Might! And he's like one of my favorites. But I know something all oh, See, All Might so. is one of my favorites. Well, I, only I don't, I know don't watch the bit. show for All Might. I watch the show for Todoroki and, he, and Bakugo. And they don't even get any screen time. They don't even get any screen time. So it's, can you make a concert stage with working lights? Both of our concert stages have working lights. So, check out our concert stage one and our other concert stage two, and they both have working lights. All right, can you... Uh, okay, I did. The concert stage, working lights. Got that one. Uh, who do you like more, Chloe or Sophie? Dude, that, I can't choose because she's Chloe and I'm Sophie, and I like me and I like her. So, But I like me better. So, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Whatevs. Uh, shout out to Sarah Do you like and to cook? Vaughn. Um, Vana? if I was put in a situation where I had to cook, I could definitely look up a recipe and do it. I want to see the cooking competitions, like the worst cooks thing. It's like, you really can't follow a recipe. No. <laughs> it's not that hard. But, um, But I can't follow a recipe. You can't follow a recipe. <laughs> I cannot. It's literally, everything is laid out for you. There's explicit instructions. I am like to now. cooking. I'm allergic to cooking. Yeah, bro, she be cooking waffles burnt every time. <laughs> you and want then, to live on ramen noodles for six months? Come to me. Because <laughs> then I can do that. <laughs> my husband cooks. He's a fantastic cook. Yeah, my cook. dad cooks. Yep. And we would all starve without him. So, sorry. I can make food out of Play-Doh and toilet paper. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Sweetie Homemade. What's up? So what's it, how do you learn how to draw? Um, um, I learned how to do most things by just looking at them and figuring it out. But um, I learned how to draw. You taught me how to draw when I was like, really, really young. And then, then I got Instagram and Pinterest. And I just started you know, looking at that type of stuff and just redrawing things in a style. And now, I'm actually trying to learn techniques now, so I watched like a color theory video this morning, and some videos on that, and I use YouTube, and the internet is how I learn how to draw. Alright, back to the craft. So, you now have some extra long popsicle sticks. In the front, you'll see one seam, in the back, you'll have a whole bunch of seams. So we want the side that has less seams to be facing forward. So we put the three of them together. 
Then you're going to push two forward and have one going back, like so. And we're going to glue these together at the top, kind of like you would expect to see an easel or on an easel. There you go. Grammar, I am not. And the next question is, have you ever watched My Hero Academia? Yes. Yes. Um, do you, can you make a selfie stick for dolls? We have a video for can that. Can you watch Supernatural or Digimon? Those are two completely different shows. <laughs> I, Digimon got me through college. <laughs> Pokemon is better than Digimon. I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I have no loyalty to Digimon, but it I've got me through it. college. And, uh, that's what I did, man. Ramen noodles, Digimon, Passions. Passions is a soap opera from long time ago, and it was the most different type of soap opera ever, but I loved it. It had witches and um, all kinds of stuff. Wow. Yeah. I think the only soap opera I've ever seen is what, like 9 or 2 and Is that even a soap opera? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not. We're talking like Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, uh, Bold no. and the Beautiful... No. Passions got canceled. If it's not on Netflix, but I'm hey, wrong. Austin, Austin, Austin Green. Is it Austin Green? I don't know. The who guy that who is. played Green Arrow in Smallville, and then he was on um, This Is Us. I have no idea who that is. But the I brother know, on This Is Us. I know who it is, but I don't know who it is. Okay, he started his career out on Passions. I know his face, but I don't know. Well, him. him. He was on the show. His name was Fox. Was that a glue stick? No. I can't believe I remember that. But his name was Fox. Okay, shout out to Abigail and me. I, I think oh, I did that and, wrong. And Supernatural up? scared me. Like, it's way too scary. It, it scared me too. Like, Vampire Diaries, like, we got Damon, so. <laughs> but I could watch Sleepy Hollow, man. I don't understand. I couldn't watch Supernatural, but I could watch Sleepy Hollow. And Sleepy Hollow, I thought, was super scary. But that's just me. Uh, what's up to Faith? Thompson, how you doing? Uh, it says, what do you use for good lighting? Lights. Uh, <laughs> be nice. I'm not. That's so, literally what we use. Uh, right now, we have three LED lights, like huge light panels shining towards us. I cannot give you exact names because I don't know. We don't use ring lights because they actually put a shine in your glasses. Well, it's actually kind of cool. And you. But that little circle is really cool. Um, I do like the circle and makeup videos for the ring lights. But all of my uh, equipment and stuff I get usually from B&H online. So uh, I go there and I got like their lighting kit. It was like three something, but you got like, I think you got like three lights and a bag or something. So I get all my stuff from B&H Photo. I think that's the name. So I said, what, what is your favorite band slash group? I don't have one, unless you call Jareth. That's not a band or a group. He sings! But that's not a band or a group. He has, he, yes. He's a goblin king, he's and a band he has goblins group. singing with him. I like BTS and DPR. Isn't there a goblin in here? Right there, man. <laughs> Sorry. BTS and who? DPR. DPR. And Love the Band and Coin and... See, we can be really nice and happy when she talks about things that she likes. We're talk about but it I it like. literally pertains to the question. He had a band of Who's goblins. It? Mom, oh my god. <laughs> uh, what type of sewing machine do I use? I have a brother. It was $89 from Walmart about seven years ago. And it's held up. And so I'm like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No one says that they're going to watch the last Harry Potter movie and Harry Potter into the Carlos part two, and they literally become an insane Harry Potter fan. Um, I've never really gotten to the Harry Potter fandom because the first fan I ever got into was BTS, and that was like K-pop just sucked me in, right? But I do love Harry. I love using Harry Potter. Like, how can you not love Harry Potter? I mean, not love, but just at least like it a well, lot. I'm gonna say the story is amazing. Ooh, that's well thought yeah. out. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I don't like Ron after uh, the third movie. So I've got my or little the second movie. I've got my little tripod type thing here. I've put a lot of glue in the back. I don't really care so much about what the back looks like. If you do, be extra careful and don't be sloppy with your glue. But the back of mine is going to be facing walls. So I don't care. Oh, you loved passions. Yes, Sonia Peach. See, 
I'm not the only one who watched Passions. You're one of two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Fox was her favorite on the show. See, told you. And then Julian. I cannot remember Julian. I think is that the older guy? I don't remember. I don't remember. I did not like the main character female though. She drove me crazy. Someone said watch Avatar. <laughs> I watch Avatar. I'm literally on the last season, like the last few. Ep- I have like five episodes left, but. I'm not, like, I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> like, it's not that it's bad. I just had, do not have the attention span. I watched so, it's so much filler. It's so much filler. And she's can't. not good with exposition at no. all. I'm trying to watch Tokyo Glory now, and it's, it's so So slow. this is, I'm not, I don't want to say this is bad, but you're, you're like an action no storyline person. But you know, but not really. Because I tried watching Hobbs and Shaw and I didn't like it. You loved it at the time. No, I did. I You're it. like Hobbs and Shaw. All they're I liked, doing is I liked, I liked the trailer. But then I watched the movie and I was like, there's no connection to the characters. I like watching characters. I really like do stuff without any exposition. Like, well, how do you end up exactly liking the character? Exactly, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Barbie dream house that you've ever made? I like rooms over houses because I'm not a huge fan of ceilings because I film in my rooms. So if you're like playing in a dollhouse and you just do photography, ceilings work really good because you have natural light coming through windows and stuff. But since I use my rooms for like the Darby show and for a summer in Cali, the ceiling just creates shadow and it's hard to deal with and so i usually don't like ceilings on my rooms that's why i mainly Madison do a lot of Davis, rooms. i noticed you that's why i usually do a lot of my rooms are like corner rooms that are open and the ceiling is open so um right now one of my favorite builds is not really a house i love the coffee shop that's literally one of my favorites only problem is i have to make sure i have stuff behind the window or it just loses the feel of the appeal. What's up to Kayla and I missed it. What was the other one? Kayla and uh Kayler? Kyler? Kyler. Someone said And what, Ava. What What's spell up? supplies did you buy this year? I literally just bought a planner on Amazon and like some organization stuff for my desk and that was it. The funny thing is my son did have a supply list and But why would we need that? Well we already had Google everything. Box and Good Notes 5 and that's all I need. But we already had everything in the house. So he needed post-it notes and uh two composition books and a binder and I already had those supplies from last year because I went super crazy. So I didn't have to go buy any school supplies. I dropped an AP class this year so I could have an easy year. If if they kill me, <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. But you know, our, our county, what they do is like, we don't have school on Wednesdays. Or we're, it's like an independent study, study session where you, I guess you can catch up on your homework. But I, and I said, person to just do my homework when I get it, like the day of, so I'll have Wednesdays off. You get a day off? Hmm? What is that for? Like? Or a day to do other stuff, I guess. What does the week end? <laughs> For all you Downton Abbey people out there, um, I tried watching Downton Abbey so many times. Uh, it's too much talking, not enough fighting. I think I actually, I think I actually season two and three. It's okay, but it's I not, never watched season one. It's not. You have to watch season one. No, because I missed the entire Sybil and in the other guy arc. I got there too late. We're not gonna go down that route. When are you doing the other smart dog? The video is done. It's just sitting in the hole. And the whole is what I call uh, videos that have already been shot and they may or may not have been edited and they're just not posted yet. So the Smart Doll video has been shot. It's sitting in the hole um, along with the LOL Surprise Clubhouse, LOL Surprise o- OMG 2020 House. Um, what else have I done? What are you talking about? All the videos in the hole. Uh, I have an Etsy shop review in there. I can't remember. I have a couple other ones. Uh, shout out to Emily. No, I'm sorry. Emmy, what's up? Can you make an elevator for your dolls? We can totally make an elevator. I just currently don't have any two-story houses, so we would have to uh, do something about that. Someone said, Bella, can you sew? No, I can't sew for my life. And I have no intention on learning, even though I probably should for the apocalypse and all, but... Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> I draw <laughs> pencil and paper, even screw paper. Apple pencil you. and tablet, and that's what, that's my And that's okay, that's And okay. I can play a loop on ukulele. 
and then that's it. And I can't, so you know, it's good. Um, all right, so we have all our sticks glued in place. <laughs> the seams are facing the right direction. Nobody noticed when I messed up earlier and had to pull it off and re-glue it. So now that we have this done, we're gonna take a jumbo craft stick and I am going to cut off the ends and take another craft stick, a smaller regular one, and cut off the ends. And I want them to be the same length and I'm gonna glue this one onto the front of this one to create a little bit of a lip. All right, it says... Someone said, do you like anime and did you get braces? Who got braces? These are all natural. I did not get braces. I had Smile Direct Club where it is the clear liner to straighten your teeth. And um, I'm actually not done with them yet. I'm on like the sixth month. And I've had them for like a year. <laughs> that is so not good. <laughs> but whatever. I do want to keep my gap. I wanted to keep a really small one because I thought those really small ones are cute, you know? Yeah. But um, but you can't get a retainer unless you finish, them. finish it. So I figured I should do it very slowly. But yeah, I know you like anime. The ones when I could ever finish them. I have a hard time finishing them. Uh, my sister-in-law had braces. Yeah, and who else? Have? I know a lot of braces, but apparently braces are just incredibly painful. Really? Oh, I have I have a lot of my friends that have braces. I'm so sorry. And when you get them tightened, it really hurts. But the clear aligners don't go into clear aligners; they're gonna be easier because they do really really hurt. Oh and man! And they're almost harder because you can't you can take them out. So if you don't want to do it anymore, there is the option of taking them out. But you have to tell yourself there is no option because I want straighter teeth. You know. Yeah, I remember, like, we, I told her she couldn't change them until it was a weekend, so she had, like, two days or so yeah. to prepare. And I didn't go to school with a new set. I would go to, I would, like, yeah, change, get a yeah. new one on Friday, and so I would already, already be, like, three days into the new set. It was, it was rough. It was rough. I remember lots of just, oops, sad film. And the th third month, I thought it was good. First two months, I was like, okay, this is bad. This isn't that bad. And then third month, it was like, okay, now we're gonna, like, tear out your gums. <laughs> All right, so we've glued those pieces together. Can you see that? All right, now I'm going to glue this right on to these seams right here in the front, and it's going to totally cover them up. So we're going to glue that on with some hot glue. How do you glue foam board together? I use hot glue for foam board. That is my go-to. I've never had a problem with it. Dollar store foam board, though, I haven't been using as much. Uh, since we've been, uh, you know, chilling at home, I've mainly been using... Foam board from Amazon and from Target. It's thicker. It's it just gives me better results, and it lasts a lot longer. And it hasn't had any problems with warping or uh, the paper starting to come off or anything like that. So I have I really really like the foam board from Target and from Amazon. Are you going to watch Mulan? I plan yes. On. Mulan is like fire. So that's like without a question, that answer is very much so yes, because... When are they going to redo Princess and, the Frog? Princess and the Frog? But like, should they though? Because she was a frog for 90% of the movie. Well, hopefully, she won't be a frog, but then it's not Princess and the Frog anymore, so I don't know. But, but Well, why don't they do it like this? Then why don't they just have it be, she's a human, but turn Nadine into a frog, but then it's weird because she's a human and a frog. And they have to, like, they fall in love, but he's a frog. That's weird. That's actually gross. So I'm going to say this. The reason I am going to watch Mulan is because, it's not Mulan. just because I want to see it, and it's a high, big, huge movie, and I love that the, uh, Danny, forget his last name, but the guy that Danny played you. Is the guy from um, It Man? It Man, yeah. Love that guy. So I'm going to totally watch that movie, even though I got to pay $30. I already have Disney Plus. But that's cheaper than you to the movies. It's still less expensive than going to the movies. And I heard, I don't know if this is true, but this is kind of like a test run for the movie industry. To see they are going to start offering things on digital versus having us wait for the movie theaters. And right now, the movie theaters isn't like, you know. It's literally not an option. There's literally a BTS movie coming out in like September 10th, and I cannot go and watch it. I have to wait until it comes out on YouTube so, or whatever. You know, while I'm chilling at home, I'm all for paying the extra price to be able to watch things in the safety of my home. And if Mulan is the the key for movies to start coming home, then I'm doing it. I'm going to support. And I will hopefully get to see Black Widow next. <laughs> so there's a, there's a huge plan involved here. So just saying. What's up to Sydney P? What's up? Can we make a doll tripod? 
we did check out our doll photography room video or doll photography studio video there is a tripod in that video all right so I put my little thing on here whatever this little ledge is I'm gonna go in heavy with the glue underneath to make sure this is secure because this is my phone and my phone's gonna be sitting on here and I do not want my phone to fall so I said am I excited for dynamite yeah because it's okay I'm not excited for it because it's in English but I'm excited to see what happens because it is in English because if they get an, if they should have got nominated for a Grammy last year because and the year before that, but they're not ready for that conversation. But <laughs> but I mean, if they don't get a nominated for a Grammy for this, like they're being robbed. Like what's up, Amelia Weber? What's up, Is Bella your daughter? Yes, she is my beautiful baby girl. I used to sing to her all the time. Growing up, I had little songs about her name, songs about letters. Do you remember any of this? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep Summer and Callie a dad. What? You get them a dad? No. Oh, well, I mean, and Terry Toys cost a pretty penny. And uh, I have a difficult time finding a lot of the Integrity Toy dolls that I just really, really like. So. We're waiting on that one. Who is your favorite My Hero Academia character? Right now, it's All Might! But I've seen this episode one. So, uh... I like I Ida. I Ida? Yeah. And, um... Todoroki. And I like Bakugo, but I don't like Bakugo as much as I like Todoroki, because Bakugo has some serious anger management issues. <laughs> and, like, that's only Kyoto Kageyama, so... <laughs> Kageyama can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're on the very last step here. Take one more popsicle stick and we're going to cut it to go from right here, the center seam right there in the back and underneath our little, actually it doesn't go to center seam, mainly focus on trying to make sure that it's under here and it gets glued on here. If you do see the seam, it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it in like sloppy paint anyway and nobody will see anything. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to glue it in place. Like so. Someone said, have you watched One Punch Man? Have you watched Umbrella Academy? And then someone else said, have you watched Princess Diaries? Yes, I've seen every Princess Diaries. It's like over and over and over and over again. I, at least, I love that. Like, love that series. We've seen Princess Diaries. One Punch Man? We've watched One Punch Man. One Punch Man is my first anime that wasn't, like, Pokemon. It was my first, like... Uh, Don't insult anyone. No, no, no. But Pokemon is like a like a more like a kids anime. It's a good starter anime, you know. What is a kids anime? It's I like get YT so anime. heated when people say that. Why? Because no, no, no. Because there's an obvious, obvious difference between Pokemon and One Punch Man. Oh yes. Okay. And the so, but gore listen, and the language. Listen. And can I say this? Okay. Pokemon is general audience. So let's oh, label sorry. this correctly. Okay. Yeah. Any. Anyone can like whatever they want. Now, when you say it's just for kids because of violence, what, do all adults have to like violence? No. I don't like violence, okay? That so I would watch true. Pokemon over One Punch Man because they got cute little characters running around and there's a plushie at Walmart. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, well, Pokemon is for general audience, and it's not as, like... That, that statement just triggers me. <laughs> it's, not as, it's not as violent as One Punch Man, but One Punch Man was my first, like, anime about like fighting and and that type of thing with a lot of you know yeah <laughs> but it's really really good and it's like funny too to be an adult you have to use bad language and curse words no one said that but and violence because that's what it means to be adult no you can just be general audience it's okay for kids to watch that's but i'm not gonna saying. lie pokemon back with the original pokemon the originals and then like y x y z and then the movies those are way better than the ones that are on Disney right now. You know, the funny thing is, growing up, the kids that I knew watched way worse things than my parents did. Even my little cousin, he was watching scary movies when he was, like, seven. I know a lot of kids who are, like, who in elementary school would talk about, like, watching Chucky and stuff. Or, like or the, like, The Walking Dead. I can't tell you how many kids, are they like, oh, you like Barbies? You don't watch The Walking Dead? I'm like, dude, you're fine. And now I'm looking back and I'm like, yo, you were in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> watching Walking Dead? You're Shaving me? Cause Cause like, you don't watch Game of Thrones? You're in fifth grade. <laughs> like, watch what you want, man. It's all right. You can do what you want to do, you know. 
Um, shout out to couple minute, couple minutes. What's up? I know we're in school a lot. Rokaya? Rokaya? What's school, up? You would hear a lot of, for some reason, I don't know why this happened, but there was, like, this, in middle school, like, the stigma against, like, Harry Potter and Star Wars, you know? Like, what's the stigma against Harry Potter I don't know, but Wars? it was, like, people were like, oh, have you seen Star Wars? Have you seen Star Wars? And people were like, no, I've never seen that. I don't want to watch that. And then I'd be like, yeah, like, you've seen every single, every single movie. And literally one of my friends, the the main, not main reason, but I think a big reason of why we started talking to each other in the first place is because we both like Harry Potter and uh, Star Wars. The fandoms, or, I don't know man. about Star Wars, but I think it was, we both liked Harry Potter and we started talking about it. Fandom geek culture for life. I'm telling you. What's up, Gabby? How you doing? Okay, so I've got to run through a couple. Let's do rapid fire questions. Are you? You ready? Rapid fire. Rapid fire questions. Baby Answer quickly. Process. Wait, I just pushed. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're back. All right, real fast. Um, uh, Tae Young and Jungkook. It says, can this be used for dollhouse? Yes, you can totally use this for a dollhouse. Um, when are you going to make the background for YouTube lives? I will get to it as soon as I can. It is all on our to-do list. Shout out to Dreamer Studio 15. You're supposed to be pulling up oh, questions. Yeah. We're looking over there. Um, woohoo! From the Harry Potter game. character, Luna Lovegood, um, Malfoy. Actually, no. My favorite character is definitely Dobby. I love him. No, He's Dobby's so annoying. I love Dobby. I like Hagrid, Malfoy, and Hermione. You can't tell me I don't like who I like. I'm not I saying like you shouldn't like. Dobby. I'm just saying that Dobby's annoying. And you're and annoying. Wait, what happened to him? <laughs> he deserved it. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move on from there. There. Thoughts on Animal Crossing? I love the free app. I won't pay for the game because I'm cheap, but I will pay for Mulan. Doesn't make sense, my logic. Okay. Um, please do a shout out to Era BB, Era BB 18's daughter. What's up? Um, what bar? What Integrity Toys skin tones match Barbie made to bodies? All the Integrity Toys. Uh, all the Integrity Toys have like different skin tones and they're all slightly off a little bit from a Barbie body. Uh, we've switched three onto Made to Move bodies. You can check them out in our Summer and Cali uh, um, Made to Move body video. I think it was called something of that nature. Favorite supernatural character? I like a um, supernatural character like Damon. Damon, Damon, Damon. Oh, so I guess you know, vampires. And one in particular. Uh, I, I like unicorns and I like dragons. Um, do you follow TY Inc. on Instagram? I don't think so. Have you ever eaten samosas? Yeah, I've eaten vegan samosas. They so are fantastic. I don't know if they taste the same, but they're really good. What's Bella's Instagram? Bella of my froggy stuff. What's the most complicated build for dolls that you've done? Kitchens with working cabinets and drawers. Not my favorite. Uh, can you Wait, do are some regular samosas vegan? Tell me, because I... I don't know. <laughs> I thought they were like filled with potato and peas well, or something. Well, when, when, where we had samosas was at a vegan restaurant, and I don't know if it's not usually vegan. Oh, this isn't rapid fire. Okay, keep going. Do Shout you still out play Roblox? I don't. I do. Shout out to Doll Dreams. What's up? Uh, do you, f no, I already said that one. Shout out to Taylor Dolls. What's up? Someone said hi from South Africa. Will you ever go to South Africa? Um... Maybe. One day. I want to go to Cape Town where they have like the colorful buildings. I think we're it's like, like... It's like abandoned and they have like colorful buildings. You can just... Yeah, yeah. Sounds fantastic. Let's do it. Wait, is Cape Town or South Africa? My geography is not so good. Okay, so right now everything is glued together. Our stand is completely done. To cover up all those awesome glue spots, we can totally cover it with paint and make it look like the doll been actually painting, or you can just cover it with paint because you don't want to see your mistakes and use it as a phone. Two more questions. Stand. Do you like Taylor Swift? I like her old stuff, like the nostalgic stuff. I don't like listen to her, but if it's on, then I know the words. And um, favorite drink? Water, sparkling, cold. Water with ice water. Yeah. Give me a sparkling water, please. Do you like black pink? I uh, think they're pretty cool people. I do enjoy a good black pink comeback. Um, I'm not a blink by any means, but I do enjoy a good black pink comeback. Shout out to Zoe. What's up? Do you miss Monster High? Absolutely, I do. But if they come back with like collector dolls that are like a hundred or fifty dollars and they're like all extra, I don't know if I'll. Don't call me. Oh, sorry.
<laughs> I don't want like regular. Uh, I just I want regular Monster High. That's that's what I want. I don't really need over the top collector edition at fifty dollars. I just and want regular. Someone said any advice for artists uh, for like learning. I guess I would say this is a YouTuber I literally found this morning, and he's super cool. I love the way he instead of his name is Sinks. It's S I N I X Design, and he is really really good at explaining things on how to do hair and that type of thing. Obviously, when you're watching other people uh, explain how to draw things, you're they're explaining how to draw things in their style, so take it with a grain of salt, but also saying, you know, don't play by their rules, but just take their rules and just amend them to whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, I really like his stuff, and I like the way he colors, and I want to, you know, do something similar to that, so I would say watch him, and then find people like that, and type of thing. Alright, 90s inspired room, let me know what you consider a 90s inspired room. Because everyone didn't agree with my 80s inspired room, but that's what I liked from the 80s. So let us know what you are looking for, and I will do my best. Shout out to Greta. What's up? I'm sorry, Gita? I'm horrible with names. What's up? Uh, we're almost out of time. Any more questions? Are we almost Ooh. done? Uh, let's do one more question. Have you seen Upside Down Magic? No. Upside. I know it's a new show on Disney Channel. Oh. Or Disney Plus or Disney. I have not watched I it. I haven't watched a Disney show in like... Uh, how many episodes do you plan on doing for Summer Cali? I will do them until I can't do them. Whether that's from YouTube rules coming down or... Oh, the same or person, the same person who said hike in South Africa said hike in Cape Town. So I'm guessing South Africa is in Cape No, no. Cape Town is in South Africa. Do you have Disney Plus? Yes. Favorite show? Mandalorian. Um, what's the next question? Have you heard of One of a Kind or Oak? Yes, I have. O-O-A-K? One of a Kind? Yes, I know what that is. What's that? It's when you make a custom doll. It's O O A K, one of a kind. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. What's up to all of you out there in Houston, Texas? I've never been to Houston, Texas. I've been to San Antonio. That's my Houston, Texas. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the next question? Did you, ever, uh, did you go to Briar Fest? I participated in Briar Fest this year. I was. I did a little interview thing in the virtual Briar Fest. It was awesome. Do you Still play Roblox? Yes, I do. And one more question. And Froggy Boy, I'm sorry, Noah has been working on our map. We just got shirts in our shop, but they um, we're still tweaking them. So, waiting on her, our artist. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bella, can you do coloring sheets? We have a miniature coloring book already available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. That would, I, I mean, I could, I guess. Yes. Uh, the guy you see on the picture is my dad. Fantastic. Dads are awesome. Okay. Shout out to uh, uh, they. What's up? Do you play Minecraft? I do not. Shout out to my cat. Do you speak French? No. 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 How they pas français. Uh, what? Je ne, je ne pas français. What's up, Molly? And it is time to do a shout out. Here we go! We want to give a shout out to Daisy Riviera. What's, what's up? up? Zach Forrester, what's up? Do you like Bratz? Bratz are okay. I liked the 2015. No one else did. But I really, really liked it. What? I was a question he asked. I had to answer. Okay. Uh, Clara, what's up? What's up to Sarah and Vana? What's up? Elizabeth, Surti, or Surtle. What's up? Hulk, 1075. What's up? Kira, Kira. What's up? Shout out to... I can't read that. Annika, what's up? <laughs> Shout out from Cali. What's up to all of y'all in Cali? What's up? Shout out to Pearl. What's up? Shout out to... Uh, Luis Anya. Anya. What's up? <laughs> Shout out to Jay Dolls. J Doll Six, what's up? Ashley Scott, what's up? Shout out to Roblox with Sprinkles and Twinkie, what's up? Um, Michaela, Mi uh, Michaela Little World Crafts, what's up? When is your next apartment video? We are waiting on Miss Bella to do the Sims portion oh, yeah, of are. the video. That sucks. So that's what's happening with that. Uh, we want to give a shout out to Elena, what's up? 
up? And two more, Cassandra Lopez. What's up? And Flora, what's up? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog, and follow me on Instagram at Bella of my froggy stuff. I think this is the last live that is at seven or oh, three. Oh goodness, that's like important information. Yeah. Okay, so school is back in session for this one come Monday, so we will not be able to do lives at 3. We are still working out the time that we're going to do it, but it's going to have to be after school. So we're looking at around 5, 6, or 7, one of those time frames. I'll put a poll up on our communities tab on YouTube, and we'll drop a thing on Instagram to see what time works for all of you, and you can all vote and weigh in to see when we should do our live. Puppy watch! It's happening, y'all! So, September. September, new Froggy joining the family, a fuzzy one, well, kind of, sort of, yeah. But he's joining us. Oh, I mentioned it was a he. I'm horrible. Whoops. Oh, I said it on Instagram already. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I said on Instagram already. So, yeah, new family member coming in September. Super excited. You can expect to see puppy videos. <laughs> Just wearing you ahead of time. That's going to be happening. We'll do some miniatures for our miniature pups and maybe a couple of practical real life uh, puppy crafts as well because I'm like super crazy and I'll be obsessed with this puppy for like a while So that's gonna happen. All right, all of you. Thank you. Don't break my easel We hope you all had fun making the easels with us Let us know if you made one by using the hashtag my froggy stuff fan pics on, on Instagram And we hope you all had a great time. We'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you Friday Bye You have to push the button that says end.